Welcome to another installment of our online children's moment. My name is Piers Fetters and I head up the family ministries here at the Chicago Temple. I hope you all had a wonderful week and that you've been able to spend some time outside. Now, all this time outside because it's been so warm has got me thinking and I've got a question for you this morning. Have you ever had to pull weeds? It was a chore that I would often get in the summer when my mom wanted help with her garden or with her flower beds. Do you know what weeds are? Right, weeds are those plants that you don't want when you're growing flowers or vegetables. They are often plants that are very prevalent, right? They're common in nature and are really good at spreading naturally. So it's usually hard to make it so that your garden or your flower beds are free, uh, free from weeds without some manual labor. So often in the summer, I would find myself crawling around the flower beds at my house, pulling out these unwanted weeds. Now, it's often a really big job that takes a lot of time. And sometimes when jobs take a long time, you can get a little lazy and maybe be a little less mindful of what you're pulling. And I remember a few times when I was out weeding, I would accidentally pull one of the plants my mom had planted. And that was never good, right? I had maybe been a bit bored or been a bit tired or been a bit lazy doing what I was told to do and I accidentally pulled the wrong thing, something my mom had planted on purpose. Now this ties perfectly into today's story. Today's story is actually similar to last week's story. Jesus told two stories really close back to back that were about farming. Now if you remember last week we talked about plants and planting seeds in different locations and how they would grow. And here we are talking again about planting seeds. Now, Jesus' message for us today might be similar to last week's, but it comes from a different perspective and has a different thing he wants us to learn. So let's check out the Bible story for today. It comes again from Matthew chapter 13 and is from verses 24 to 30. Here is another story Jesus told. The kingdom of heaven is like a farmer who planted good seed in his field. But that night, as the workers slept, his enemy came and planted weeds among the wheat, then slipped away. When the crop began to grow and produce grain, the weeds also grew. The farmer's workers went to him and said, Sir, the field where you planted that good seed is full of weeds. Where did they come from? An enemy has done this, the farmer exclaimed. Should we pull out the weeds, they asked. No, he replied, you'll uproot the wheat if you do. Let both grow together until the harvest. Then I will tell the harvesters to sort out the weeds, tie them into bundles, and burn them, and to put the wheat in the barn. So in this story, we again hear about a farmer with a problem. The workers went out and planted wheat, and at some point early on in the planting, an enemy snuck out into the field and planted a bunch of weeds among the good seed. So now the farmer has a problem. His good plant is surrounded by weeds, and sometimes weeds can hinder the growth of the good plants. But the farmer also commands his workers not to remove the weeds, because as you know from the story I told, sometimes you can accidentally remove some of that good plant while you're removing the weeds. The farmer wants to make sure as much of the good plants are saved as possible. So he tells the workers to wait until the harvest. Then he says, harvest all the crops, right? Including the weeds. But once you've pulled them from the ground, separate out the good crop, right? The wheat from the weeds and save all the good crop, all the wheat, but burn the weeds. Now, Jesus always tells us these stories for a reason. 
He's not just telling us these stories so we can become better farmers. Rather, Jesus tells these stories to give us advice on how to live. The good crop represents all of us who are trying to live for Jesus and trying to follow his commands. And we live in a world where we encounter ideas and obstacles that are sometimes different or kind of working against the way of Christ. In these stories, those things that work against the ways of Christ are the weeds. They crowd around us and tempt us to become like them, right? And not like Christ. And so as Christians, we are called to follow after God. So we are continually challenged to make the right decision and to continue to do what God wants us to do. So thankfully, this illustration reminds us of something else. As the good plants following after God, we are not just surrounded by weeds. Remember, we also have other good plants, right? Other people who are there to walk alongside us and to help us along the way. God sent his son Jesus to live among us and he created the church, right? And the church is a group of people who love God and follow after Christ's teachings. So in those times where we might feel surrounded by those other ways of living that are against sort of God or against the church, it's good for us to search out those people, right, who are also following after God. We should talk to them. We should ask them questions. We should share our experiences. And in the end, it will help us all learn and grow, and it will give us all good tips on how to keep our lives firmly focused on God. It's not always easy, but we are so thankful and praise be to God that we are not left alone to figure this all out. So even though we currently are all spread out across the city and aren't meeting in person, we're still connected. And I hope these videos have been helpful and have also been a fun way to stay in touch and to hear some stories from the Bible. So even though we're meeting remotely, we are still connected as the body of Christ, and that makes me so happy. So we're going to end today by singing the same song we sang last week, the seed song. And remember, in this song, there's an echo, and so I'm going to need you all to be my echoes again when we sing. Sound good? All right, then. Will you sing with me? Find a little seed, find a little seed, plant it in the ground, plant it in the ground, wait for it to grow, wait for it to grow, don't disturb it, don't expect to see, don't expect to see, changes overnight, changes overnight, if you wait a while, if you wait a while, you'll find new life. Sunshine will come, raindrops will fall, your little seed will grow again. Soon there will be a day in the spring when your seed blossoms and grows. Find the seed of love, find the seed of love, plant it where you can. Wait for it to grow, wait for it to grow. Don't disturb it, don't expect to see, don't expect to see. Changes overnight, changes overnight. If you wait a while, if you wait a while, you'll find new life. Sunshine will come, raindrops will fall, your little seed will grow again. Soon there will be a day in spring when your seed blossoms and grows. Sunshine will come, raindrops will fall, your little seed will grow again. Soon there will be a 
day in spring when your seed blossoms and grows. Thank you so much for joining me for today's online children's moment. I miss you all and I hope you have a wonderful me week. So let's plan on meeting back here in a week for another installment of our online children's moment. Be kind to each other this week and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.